My garbage person of the week is someone who is working overtime and like four different ways to earn the spot. It is going to be Kirsten Cinema. And it's not because she's generating all of this, like bring up the screenshot. It's not that we're like finding out more and more about how she's like working with Mitch and he's like getting Republicans to boost her so she never has to do anything for the Democrats. Um, it's not even really that a couple days ago she said, I have also made clear that while I will support beginning this process, it I do not support a bill that costs $3.5 trillion on the reconciliation bill for infrastructure, although that's bad enough. It's that on top of all of that, she's also like super lazy and annoying about the whole thing. So according to the political playbook, when Chuck Schumer announced earlier this month that he might keep the Senate in session until August, delaying a previously scheduled recess in order to shepherd the two gigantic bills through the chamber, Cinema told the majority leader that she was not sticking around to vote. She had prior vacation plans, she said, and wasn't about to let the infrastructure or reconciliation bills get in the way. So it's not just that she does a bad job, it's that she refuses to even do the bad job. And as was pointed out on Twitter by Ida Chavez, she really does find a lot of reasons to not have to work. So previously she missed votes on judges so that she could go to New Zealand for an Ironman race. She talked about how important the January 6th commission vote was gonna be and then just didn't go to it. And we only found out recently the last summer, she took a couple weeks off from being a United States Senator to do a, an internship for two weeks at the Three Sticks Winery in Sonoma. While there, she did everything the other interns did, grape sampling, sorting fruit, cleaning equipment, getting the wine cellar ready to receive newly picked grapes. And for it, she received pay of $1,170.40. Her winery work didn't surface publicly because of course she was hiding it until Business Insider reported about a federal financial disclosure that she put out uh, revealing the paid interns, internship. Messages left this week to Cinema's office in Washington and Phoenix to learn about why she left, uh, sought the summer work were not returned. But I, I think I know why. It's because she doesn't give a damn about any of this stuff and she'd rather go and do Iron Man's and pick grapes and all that stuff. She's not even doing these things in Arizona. She's not even ditching to be in her state. She's ditching to go everywhere. And she can't even make time to, I don't know, like pass a bill. Like this is, they did the COVID bill. And there's two other things that they're talking about. She doesn't want to do either of those. Like she considers herself done. She worked harder in Sonoma than she is in DC. Brett. It's a shame what she's done to the Southwest. It's one of my favorite regions. Uh, she's the worst. Sorry, that was like two office she's references just, at once. But um, yeah, she's the worst. She so smugly is terrible. Yeah. She isn't doing her job for which she's getting paid. Now, usually it's the people on the right who complain about government waste and people doing becoming fat cats on the taxpayer dollar, but they're not going to complain about that because she's theoretically on our side. Not to mention how much she 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 masqueraded as a progressive to get elected. Yeah. Only to immediately turn her back on everything that the movement stands for. She is total garbage, John. A hundred percent. And I, God, I hope that she has a vigorous primary against her, and I hope that she is taken out. Anyway, Brett, as always, thanks for the vast majority of all cold. of that. Appreciate you being here. Oh yes, we do have to get to the community garbage choice of the week. Thank you for telling me that. Okay, so uh, eleven thousand of you voted, and here is number five. Three percent of the vote goes to DeBaby for his horrific homophobic comment. Really, that only got three percent of the vote. Okay, number four uh, with six percent of the vote is Piers Morgan for his hypocritical attacks on Simone Biles. No, that should have been number one. Uh, number three with eight percent of the vote is Nancy Pelosi for her comments on canceling student debt. That's so bad, though. Number two with 23% of the vote is Kevin McCarthy for trying to sabotage the January 6th commission. But far and away your winner and community garbage person of the week with 59% of the vote, Laura Ingram for mocking officers testifying to Congress. I will never be able to predict what's gonna end up winning even an overwhelming vote. But yeah, that, that was pretty garbagey. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.